Hello everybody, my name is Caroline and I am the Cigar Angel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the CAO Flathead 554 cigar. It's got a Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper, a Habano Connecticut binder, and a Nicaraguan Lajero and a Piloto Cubana Lajero filler. That's a mouthful. <laughs> um, this cigar, the CAO Flathead, is created by CAO's master blender, Rick Rodriguez, who I had the pleasure of meeting. He is an awesome guy and knows his stuff about cigars. So, the Flathead cigar, in Rick's travels, he noticed that cigar smokers talk about three things mainly, um, cigars, cars, and women. So, that's exactly what the Flathead was inspired by was hot rods and pinup girls. So another thing about this cigar is the way you cut it is with a punch. And punch is definitely preference to most people and some people hate it, but this cigar was created for the punch cut. So I'm taking Rick's advice and using the punch cut. Um, so, I'm going to smoke this for a little bit and let you guys know what I think. So, I'm back. Been smoking the CAO Flathead for a little bit. And I have to say, it's a really awesome cigar. Um, something about the Flathead is that it is in the box pressed collection and it's got a distinctive flat head therefore that is why it's called the flat head <laughs> so the initial tastes I get out of it are um, earth black pepper and cocoa this is a full-bodied cigar for sure but the smoothness of it really makes it taste more medium than full so I'm gonna smoke this for a little bit and let you guys know my final so I'm sadly getting to the end of the CAO flathead <clears throat> and all I gotta say is damn this is a fantastic cigar Rick Rodriguez really did a beautiful job constructing such a nice cigar um, CAO is already such a a really great brand in and of itself, but this just, you know, adds to such a great collection. Um, <clears throat> so if I were to rate this cigar, I would give it a 9 out of 10. Um, you know, it's definitely one I would pick up on a regular basis. Uh, I don't normally smoke full-bodied cigars, but this definitely like the smoothness of it doesn't make it seem so full-bodied doesn't knock you on your butt um, so for all you mild to medium smokers out there this is definitely if you want to you know dip your toes in the full-bodied world this is definitely a great one to try um, you know it has has like a nice thick oily smoke to it which makes for like a really nice long lingering finish um, so I mean I can't say enough great things about this cigar uh, <clears throat> so if you guys have any comments or suggestions uh, about this video or you know suggestions as to cigars you would like to hear me review um, I'd be happy to to take them um, I'm always looking for suggestions and and all that so but in the meantime, please subscribe to the Cigar Cigars YouTube channel and Facebook page. And um, right after this video, you'll see all seven locations, addresses, and, and all that. So if you're in the area, if any are nearby, please stop on by, check out the humidor. We have a great selection, you know, hundreds and hundreds of cigars to choose from. So until next time, I'll see you all later. what the flathead resembles is the box 
this kind kind of resembles like an engine, I think, in a car. And then, you know, the um, I believe there's. Got like a little bit of a pepper, peppery. Going back. You know, I enjoy this. And all I gotta say is. So I'm back. Sadly, get to the end of the CAO flathead.